Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I am going to be playing through the recently released updated backer demo for Alyssa The Arrival, because as I mentioned before, this is a game that I did end up backing on Kickstarter because I was impressed enough with the original demo. So essentially all we're going to be checking out here is the prologue section that has been added to the original demo. So you know, after the prologue, which is new to this backer demo, there is just the rest of the regular demo that I already did a video on. So we're not going to be doing that again, we're just going to be doing the new stuff, because the rest of it has not changed much as far as I'm aware, aside from having access to the saber, which I believe is a backer-only weapon. So yeah, you can see chapter 1 or prologue. So we're going to check out the prologue, I think it's only 15 to 20 minutes, according to uh, Casper Crows. I asked him ahead of time how long the new stuff was. But yeah, this takes place before we wake up in the dollhouse. Alright, listen up. Tonight, a spy stole important blueprints. And he got away. However, we were able to gather information and track him to his last known location. He escaped with the supply train. We will ride a train on the same tracks, dropping you off at every station and small groups to search the area. Find him and make sure those blueprints don't fall into enemy hands. Got it? Alright, I'm ready to find him. Do I sound like a commanding officer? <laughs> Alyssa, the next stop is yours. But I appreciate that he even went with the old, you know, PS1 FMV aesthetic, instead of like super high rendered cutscenes. Wow, he doesn't look shifty at all. A man who's all teeth. So this gets into more of what Alyssa is supposed to be. She is like some kind of Her Majesty's Secret Service kind of agent. But I think so far, between this and what I saw from the original demo, he has very much nailed the look of, you know, pre-rendered backgrounds, plus like the train is not pre-rendered because it's something that can actually move. The kind of pixely at a distance look. You can set the resolution on this, but even here I'd set to 1080p and, you know, there's still plenty of chunky pixels. So I think that's just, you know, the look. All right, so we have a sword. I guess this is the saber. It's actually... Maybe I have to turn the resolution down? Because actually it looks more pixely now than I think it's supposed to. No, I don't think I can actually change that in-game. But it could just be because we're far away. Alright. So... Uh-oh. Okay, it was just loading. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to have the inventory open yet. So we have a saber, we have our little pistol. It's weird that you can't examine them in the menu. Maybe that's something that would be worth changing. We have a flare signal, and we have return. So this is probably for when we spot him. Call for backup. Alright. So... Now we've got our melee weapon, which is hopefully a little better than a Resident Evil knife. Because, you know, it's a full-size saber. I like the, the added detail that she holds the sheath for it so it doesn't bounce around and smack her. Alright, see anything over here? You found something? What is it? Fresh footprints. Someone must have passed here not so long ago. Let's check those houses further on the road. See if we can find more tracks. He sounds like he's supposed to be French. But I don't think he's French. Just some wild growing bushes. Can I lop them down with my saber? Hmm. 
The truck hasn't been used in a long time. Nature is already taking over. So I don't think she's supposed to be English herself. I believe this is a fictional empire that's sort of based on industrial era England. But obviously seems to be using various aspects of different European countries. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be that pixely. Boring. I don't think this place is really abandoned. That is a weird ass looking tree. Ah, don't you love the smell of burning wood in the barn? I prefer napalm. Yes, I like it. You think there's like little side areas? Let's check these houses. See if there is someone who lives EC. Someone who lives EC. He actually just straight up went into a little bit of French there. <sighs> Many dried up plants and colorful clay pots on the windowsill are blocking the view. I'm getting a little bit of a Resident Evil 4 vibe here. Now let's go snoop around the town. Before Francois here is gonna get chainsawed. Response. Some old curtains are blocking my view. Man, these people don't just make it easy to peep. You can see a faint light inside. Oh, hello there. What brings you guys to these parts? Sorry for bothering you, sir. We are looking for a man. He might have passed these parts. Have you seen a person like this? I'm looking for a girl. Oh, yes, yes. Have you seen her? Very kind fella. He stayed here for a cup of tea and headed for the forest behind my house not so long ago. You say he came in for a moment. Can we take a quick look around? It won't take long. Of course, of course. Come in. Mikasa et Sukasa, as they so, say. So, are you the only one living around here? Where are all your neighbors? Painting Everyone of a guy with a painting. Big cities, since factory work was on high demand and granted more work stability. What about you? Why did you stay here? It's just another. Oh. I'm already too old for that. Je Door vois. leads to the backyard. The is Probably nothing to find there. Yes, exactly. The doors have been shut tight for quite a while now. So, what do you do during the journey? Oh, drawers are filled with reading, clothing and a couple of candlesticks. Writing, or some small pictures of winning standing on top of the drawers. Outside. A blonde young woman wearing a red dress. There's a name under it. Elise. I leave you to it then. Thank you for your time. The other woman is old and gray. Her face is covered by some black cloth. A bit creepy. Hold on, I'm not done looting his house. Sheets on this bed is probably as old as the guy that lives here. Alright. That's about it. Not really any reason to snoop, it turns out. Alright, let's go. One thing I do like that's a change from the classic formula is that we can actually have two weapons equipped at once, which, you know, obviously you could never do that in any other survival horror I've played. It's always, you only have one equipped and you have to go to the menu to switch it. You go on ahead, I'm gonna keep snooping. There might be help or bullets in this town. Rusted shut. Alright, never mind. My snooping has come to an end. I guess you only need to hold the sheath when you don't have a sword in it, because otherwise the weight of the sword kind of keeps it steady.
kind of wonder if there's going to be even any enemies in the prologue. Considering we're not in the dollhouse, so there can't be really any doll enemies, can there? Over there, it's him! Halt! Stop right there! Wit! Let's get him! It seems to be a chunky small boy. <laughs> Why are we hunting him down? Wow, you're not in a hurry, are you? Jack, are you alright? <laughs> I swallowed my cure dent. Oh, can I help? <laughs> Go, Alisa. Don't let him see Chappé. Okay, he's a lot seen now in my backpack. Don't worry. Help will come our way. Call for backup to get that fucking toothpick out of your throat, idiot. That's the downside to trying to be the tough guy that walks around with a toothpick in your mouth at all times, is when you fucking trip and lodge it into the back of your throat. Oh, that's funny. Come back, small boy! I'll shoot. I'll shoot. I shot. For some reason, it defaults to aiming up. Okay, he fell off a cliff. I can't believe he's dead. Okay, we do in fact have doll enemies, and these are ones that I don't think we saw in chapter one. Yeah, so this does not have auto-targeting, which means I have to get far enough ahead of them that I can turn around and shoot them. Unless there's a snap to button, which uh, I'm gonna have to test here on the move. Looks like no. I, I, I might be supposed to lose this fight. Well, that doesn't mean I have to let it happen easily. Have at you. I just swung at the air. I think I hit one. Not entirely clear. <laughs> they keep shoving me around. I feel like maybe there didn't need to be three of them. Like, I think two would have worked better here, because they do seem to be shoving me and each other. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that would be the case. Is that we were supposed to die there to advanced enemies so that she could be captured and brought to the dollhouse. And now we go back into familiar territory. Except I guess she keeps the saber? So yeah, I am looking forward to this game. Where am I? It captures a lot of the feel what is this? and kind of I look get out of here. that I like about classic survival horror games. And now she gets turned into a Lolita. I don't have my saber. So I'm looking forward to this game coming out, and I'm going to do a full playthrough of it once it does come out. I believe it right now it's about halfway done, because at least originally Casper said that he was going to release this demo once the game was about halfway through, so I'm hoping that it won't be too long until we can actually play the full thing. But I think this is coming at a good time, this demo, because there are a couple of classic survival horror games on the PS1 that I want to check out, like Martian Gothic and Overblood. So. This definitely is going to be in line with those. 
when I record those in the next few days. I only did what I was told. I wonder if that note is from the kid we were chasing. So yeah, thanks for checking out the new beginning to the Alyssa demo. And I hope you will join me when we get to the full game. Where we will be able to dig deeper into the dollhouse. Excuse me. I... And fight some giant walking heads. Even the music here is kind of very reminiscent of old Resident Evil music. Though, I do think the aim mechanics need a little... ...bit of work. Just because she doesn't turn very quickly. Anyhow, thanks for joining me. See you around, folks, with some more classic survival horror and some more Alyssa in the future. Until then, take care.